Looking at another type and style of engine, this is a Deutz inline or an I5 five cylinder inline air cooled engine. So this one is typically used in industrial applications for farm, combines, stuff where it can actually be cooled to a sufficient value just with an engine fan. So this one, very similar to the other engines, it has an injection system, but this one uses a P-type pump, and it uses a port and helix inside the pump to create the injection pressure, delivered up through the lines to a injector that goes directly into the cylinder head. Now we're gonna take a look at a couple things on this engine here. I can take the access cover off. Bit of a wrestling match. And then we're gonna have a look at some of the systems inside here. Okay, so the pump delivers the fuel up through the lines through this housing here, and this is actually our shrouding, which allows the fan to cool different components in this particular engine. So we have an engine oil cooler here, which is in the direct path of the fan, which we'll look at in a moment. And that actually takes some of the heat away from the engine lubrication. It's really important to maintain lower engine oil temperatures to maintain consistent vertical oil clearance in the bearings. So that's one thing they have in place here. The other thing is that the engine cylinder and the cylinder heads are also air-cooled and they have very big fins on them. It's a cast cylinder with an aluminum cylinder head. And again, the air is flowing across this and then exiting the engine after it absorbs the heat from the cylinders, from the cylinder head, and from the engine oil cooler and then it goes out of the engine. Now we're going to take a look at the engine fan and how that actually functions. Okay, so you can see right here, this is the engine fan in the shroud that directs the air across the engine to actually absorb and dissipate the heat. So I'm just going to crank it so you can see the operation of the fan. There's quite a bit of air coming off of that fan. Okay, so taking a look at the engine here, this is a normally aspirated engine. It's around 100 horsepower or about 75 kilowatts, runs probably anywhere between 26 to 2800 RPMs. Doesn't need to be boosted like our I6 or a um, V71 or V92 engine, two-stroke engines. So typically when we talk about a turbocharged engine, they run anywhere between 10 PSI and 30 to maybe 40 PSI a boost as a maximum, unless of course it's been modi modified for performance. This engine is normally aspirated, so it has an air intake system that feeds all the cylinders as a common plenum, and then it has an exhaust manifold that just dumps down through the muffler. This particular engine only produces around 100 horsepower, around 75 kilowatts. Doesn't run very high in RPM, somewhere between 26 and 2800 RPMs. And again, it's typical for an industrial application where it may run at those constant speeds for a very long period of time. And again, there's no need to have it boosted because it produces just the power that it needs for an industrial application. So again, this is an inline five cylinder, normally aspirated, air-cooled diesel four-stroke engine. 